Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to build a quick and easy 15 puzzle game in Unity project. Okay, as you can see, I have prepared a puzzle sprite for it, which contains all the numbers. First thing, I need to set 200 pixel per unit and also make sure the sprite mode is multiple. Apply it, slide it to grip by itself. 200. Cool. Apply. Then you will saw all the sprite ready. Okay, cool. Now we need to a uh, number box prefect. So we are create an empty game of okay, we are call this number box. So we need a script for it. Call number box. Uh, paste it in the correct folder. And also we later on we'll need another script called puzzle, which is the game of that. So we will have the number box prefect. Firstly, we will have a sprite renderer which will render all the sprites, just set it to a zero one then and so also uh, collider 2D cool, okay now we are adding the number box script so for the number box script what we need is the index, integer index and also integer x and also integer y, that's it x and y, which is the position for it you don't need these two method then Yep, we'll do go back to Unity, add the script to it. Cool, now we can put in the prefect folder, then remove it. Now we need to create an empty game object for the parser, then add the parser script. So now for the parser script, we will need to have a number box prefect object, uh, box prefect and also a list of multi-dimension array of the number boxes we call this boxes uh, the size will be 4x4 four four. Uh, new number box, right, 4x4 four four. then also a list of sprites Cool. We don't need the update method, we do need a start method. Yes, we need uh, any method, then we will generate all the boxes. So, firstly, we'll look through from the y position, the upper level first, then from the x and y equal to 3, y greater than 0, equal or greater than 0, then y minus minus. Then by the way, we're doing the same thing. X equal to zero, then less than four x plus plus. Then we are trying to generate a boxer. So for to generate a boxer, we need a method on here, which is the init actor. So this init actor will be an uh, integer, uh, integer j, which is index and also the index. And one more is a sprite. Cool. So we are set the index to index x equal to i, y equal to. Uh, we make another post method to update the position because later we will reuse this method. So, uh, mm, x equal to i, y equal to j. Then we will set the position game object dot local transform dot local position so a new vector 2 i and j okay then here we are called the update position method then we place the i and j here cool then now we need to set the sprite so uh, get component then sprite render dot sprite equal to sprite oh, now we will just call we will need to generate a prefect so number box box equal to instantiate the box prefect location will be a vector 2 uh, x and y then quaternion dot identity this will set the box then we will call the unique method replace the x and y and also index and the index will represent the index of the box so we are going starting from zero we are use this zero 
m plus 1 then this will look for the index for sprite also so we will make sure the m plus plus then also we need to set this box into a boxes grid and dimension error so x and y equal to box cool now we try to call the init method and test in our screen uh, let wait, 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 I will place the prefect object. So, we need to place all the sprite over here. Second. Uh, cool. We totally need a 16 sprite. The last one will be an empty one. Mm. Okay. Clear all the area now, should be fine. Cool. Right. As you can see, now we have all the boxes generated. Now we just need to move the around the number box to move around. So let me check. The, now we need a metal vector to allow the box to be able to click. So the method will be um, mouse down. So this will register a callback on the input so we will get input dot get mouse this will be the zero represent the left click then we will trigger something for this uh, make sure now we will all place all the logic over the parser script so we will pass the callback function over here so we will create a function called mm, action we are using action not sure you guys heard it before it's a unity private action why I cannot import integer integer wait uh, swap function we call okay um, why Okay, you will import the system. Cool. Now we will check if action not equal to none and short function is not equal to none, then we will trigger the short function and place the current x and y to it. Yep. So Every time we register, then we are trigger over here. We are pass the sort function on the similar thing over here. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Sort function. So we are let the parser game object know which boxes we have clicked. Mm. So over here, then we need to declare a swap method. Click to swap. Uh, this will take two integer. Then we can pass it as the swap function. Okay, now we can do the swap logic over here. Mm. So firstly, we need to get a different x and different y. So we will create a two method called dx and dy. So this will be called get dx. Yep. And also get dy. Later, we'll explain what will happen over here. Uh, let me check on Unity first. Mm, go back to our script. Then, okay, firstly, the different x is like whether we want to increase by one or remove by one depend on the position of the empty. So, so if let say if x less than three n boxes x and y oh no, sorry x plus 1 we, this we're checking an x less than 3 means we will not over the boundary 
So we are check whether the boxes is empty. So we uh, need to have another method called public void and bool is empty. How to check whether is a unit is empty? So we will just return if index equal to 16. The 16 will represent, we have 16, the 16 will represent the empty sprite. So just check it's empty. So plus one means we will check whether it's right empty. So let me declare here, then we will return, it's right empty, then we can return one, which is we can increase by one. So then if we check the left is empty, then we can remove the current one this must be greater than one zero then we can minus one then we can return minus one then we can move it to by left one unit else we are just return zero so we are did this we are do the same for the y one so just copy and paste and so let's check its top is empty then this will be y plus 1 then we return 1 so it's down bottom is empty we can minus 1 or okay, is a mistake plus 1 okay cool now we have all the dx dy ready then we just dx equal to get dx dy equal to get dy <coughs> so we have all both different ready then we can try now identify the from boxes so boxes will be the callback from the click callback um, which is the x and y and to index will be the boxes uh, we call this target letter target boxes <laughs> after we plus the different dy now we will just sort these two boxes xy will equal to target then the different one will equal to from then we'll call update position to boxes so from the update position will update the different one after for different the y will be plus the dy one then also we do the same for the target which will take the current position basically just swap both of the function yes now i think we have the swap function ready then click to swap then we pass it to the function number box cool now i think we can just try to test it so yep when play you can move the number around mm. let me check there is some problem yep cool i think that's it for this tutorial this is how you can create a simple number box for a 15 puzzle game um, in the next video i will show you guys how to make this boxer to be have some animation when you click it and also how to have a starting random position of this puzzle okay cool i think that's it for this tutorial i hope this tutorial helps you if it did please give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel see you in the next video